Are you ready? From the Sharky Rossetti Sports Complex in Varden, Adams Cable Sports presents a Lackawanna Football Conference Division II rivalry between the Honesdale Hornets and the Western Wayne Wildcats, all brought to you by Adams Cable Service, Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center, by the Comfort Doctors, T.E. Spall & Son, Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated with locations at 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street. By NJS Systems and Controls Route 6 Mayfield. Your Napa Auto Parts Store Tonkin Auto Supply. Tom's Floor Shop Main Street Childs. Nick's Excavating and Paving. By the White's Crossing Sports Shop. The Waymart Deli. And your starting lineups for today's game are presented by the Roselle Department. Welcome to week number six of Adams Cable High School football. And today we are at the Sharky Rossetti Sports Complex in Varden for Lackawanna Football Conference Division II action featuring the Honesdale Hornets and the Western Wayne Wildcats. Joining me for the broadcast, Nick Holmick. Nick, this is a big rivalry. We have a team undefeated in Western Wayne and the Honesdale Hornets getting on the winning track this year, picking up a couple of wins. This one should be a dandy. Well, it should be. These are two old suburban conference rivals who know each other very well. They play in every sport. Uh, from track and field to basketball to baseball and of course on the football field. So really it should be a good matchup. Honesdale's kind of righted their ship from previous years, had some tough going, but they've really gotten it on track here. Even though the two and three record, but they've been in ball games. So they should really give Western Wayne a test tonight. Western Wayne, what can you say about them? Five and oh, doing with fundamental football, uh, you know, run the ball, stop, you know, play good defense, really a good recipe for a winning team. Well, the stage is set for tonight's ball game. The Wildcats and the Hornets coming up next here on Adams Cable High School Football. Too hot? Just call Spall. Too cold? Just call Spall. T.E. Spall & Son, where you'll always get our upfront pricing. Plus, now through Wednesday, own a new energy-saving AC system for just $2.84 a day with our exclusive guarantee. Plus, get 0% financing. We called Spall and not only did we save a lot of money, but they're a name that you can trust. They get the job done fast and they get it done right. Just call Spall or see us now at callspall.com. Tonkin Auto Supply, your Napa dealer in Carbondale, has been serving the area for over 36 years with the largest inventory of automotive replacement parts and accessories. Experience Napa know-how with knowledgeable customer service from Glenn Garth and the staff at Tonkin Auto Supply in Carbondale, your Napa know-how folks. Excavation projects require experience, planning, and heavy-duty equipment. Nick's Excavating and Paving in Carbondale considers every project to be unique, which requires an individual approach to meet a wide variety of needs in residential and commercial excavating. Nick's Excavating and Paving specialize in land clearing, demolition, foundations, driveways, new paving and seal coating, mulch, or stone. Clearing the way for your next project. Nick's Excavating and Paving, Carbondale. Every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. That's the motto at Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale. Since 1987, Beston's has been committed to excellence, providing quality workmanship with state-of-the-art equipment. Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center takes pride in their attention to detail and exceptional customer service. Remember, when your car does this... <laughs> Call us first. Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center, Carbondale. The name says it all. School football pregame show. I'm joined now by Western Wayne head coach Randy Wolf. Randy, great night for football and a great night for the Western Wayne Wildcats as they come in with a perfect 5 0 mark. Yeah, I mean, uh, we do, I'm very pleased with the way the kids have been playing so far. Um, obviously, we have a very tough test ahead of us tonight with, uh, with Honesdale. They've been playing great. Uh, they've done a great job on that side um, as far as the turnaround that they've had in their program. Um, so we're just hoping to come out and compete at a high level and uh, give the fans here of Wayne County a great game. 
Well, your team showed a lot of character last week. They were behind in the ball game. They rebounded and picked up another win. Yeah, that, that was nice to see. Uh, you know, we, uh, we were fortunate enough the first couple games uh, not to be in that position, but as a coach, you always want to see your kids come back from adversity, and I thought we uh, did a great job of that. Well, here tonight, it's homecoming, so there should be a big crowd, and we're looking for a great football game. Yeah, me too. Me too. Again, I'm just happy for uh, for, for the school district, the administrators. to give great support, the school board, the school itself. I mean, it's just a, it's a great thing for everybody. Coach, thanks for your time. Thank you. If you've been dreaming about modernizing your living space, Tom's Floor Shop and Childs is ready to make those dreams a reality. Tom's Floor Shop offers a wide variety of name brand carpeting, hardwood, laminate, vinyl, ceramic tile, and professional installation. Style your home in contemporary elegance and classic beauty with a personalized touch by Tom's Floor Shop. All roads lead to where great floors begin at Tom's Floor Shop Exit 6 off the Casey Highway in Childs. The Gabriel family and the staff at Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated of Carbondale send best wishes to our local athletes and teams for a successful season. In your time of need, call 282-1219 for the ultimate in professional service from Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street, Carbondale. There's some cool new stuff out there. Cars that drive themselves. Phones that talk to us. There's a cafe behind you. And now TV everywhere. That's right, Lucky Adams Cable Service customer. Now you can watch channels from your TV package just about anywhere on just about any device. Catch your favorites in the waiting room, coffee shop, break room, the airport, wherever. TV everywhere. It's a cool extra service for no extra cost. Visit AdamsCable.com and sign up today. What does it mean to be an expert? Does it mean getting the job done right? Or being able to pinpoint a problem and quickly find a solution? Whatever the meaning, the team at NJS are your experts in hydraulic and pneumatic components. So whether you need a custom hose built on the spot or a cylinder repaired from the ground up, the experts at NJS are there when you need them. And with the area's largest hose and fittings warehouse, NJS has thousands of the parts you need in stock and ready to go. NJS Route 6 Mayfield, online at NJSCO.com. NJS is proud to call this area home and proud to sponsor our area athletes on Adams Cable Channel 7. Back on the Adams Cable High School Football pregame show, I'm joined by Honesdale head coach Mike Jerkowski. And Mike, uh, you turned the team around this year, picked up a couple of wins. How important was it to get that opening night win for your team? Very. You know, that, that's the one that changes the momentum and gets the guys in that winning attitude. Uh, so that was, that was very, very important for us. And, uh, you know, it got the boys started. Now, you're, you're run-oriented, and here tonight you're going to be without your star running back, Andy Carroll. Can you give us an update on him? Yeah, uh, Andy has a knee injury, uh, and so we're just waiting for the clearance from the doctors to get him rehabbing, and hopefully we'll have him back by the end of the season. Well, he's a great runner. I see where he had a 99-yard touchdown mm -hmm. run. Yeah, yeah, he is. A, you know, he was leading the league at one point in rushing, um, you know, but it's part of the game, I guess, you know, so it's uh, next guy up, and here we go. Two rivalries in three weeks. Wallen Popak a couple of weeks ago, Western Wayne here tonight. Mm -hmm. Wildcats are tough. They're undefeated. Yeah, they are. Uh, they have some great running backs. Uh, their linemen are, are big and strong, and they come off the ball. So uh, it's going to be a great game tonight. Well, Coach, good luck. Thanks. Appreciate it. There's some cool new stuff out there. Cars that drive themselves. Phones that talk to us. There's a cafe behind you. And now TV everywhere. That's right, Lucky Adams Cable Service customer. Now you can watch channels from your TV package just about anywhere on just about any device. Catch your favorites in the waiting room, coffee shop, break room, the airport, wherever. TV everywhere. It's a cool extra service for no extra cost. Visit AdamsCable.com and sign up today. What does it mean to be an expert? Does it mean getting the job done right? Or being able to pinpoint a problem and quickly find a solution? Whatever the meaning, the team at NJS are your experts in hydraulic and pneumatic components. So whether you need a custom hose built on the spot or a cylinder repaired from the ground up, the experts at NJS are there when you need them. And with the area's largest hose and fittings warehouse, NJS has thousands of the parts you need in stock and ready to go. NJS Route 6 Mayfield, online at 
NJSCO.com. NJS is proud to call this area home and proud to sponsor our area athletes on Adams Cable Channel 7. And now your starting lineups for today's game presented by Roselle Department Store in Carbondale where the attractive new fall styles are on display. Stop by for great savings throughout the store. Roselle offers school uniforms in all sizes for Lakeland, Carbondale area, Forest City, LaSalle Academy, Holy Cross, Valley View, and Mid Valley. Going to a formal affair or special occasion? Let the experience of Sam Kalura work for you with a perfectly tailored tuxedo by Sarno and Son. Also available at Roselle, prompt laundry and dry cleaning services. It's easy to look your best with clothing from Roselle Department Store in Carbondale, where Sam and the staff present your starting lineups for today's game. And with our national anthem, it's time for football. The homecoming game here at the Sharky Rossetti Sports Complex in Varden, the Homesdale Hornets, and the Western Wayne Wildcats. As both teams are ready to take the field on the turf here in Varden. Boy, what a beautiful complex, Nick. Every time we come here, we talk about it. But uh, oh, you say that. they yeah, really did an outstanding match. job when they, when they uh, put the money into this beautiful sports complex. I, I don't know. Every school should have one. I really, I really believe that. I mean, I know it's, it costs a lot of money, but it, it, the maintenance alone on it, you know, you don't have to keep cutting grass and you don't have to keep, you know, relining fields. It's, it's, it pays for itself, I think, in the long run. And the Honesdale Hornets will tee up the football and kick off to Western Wayne. And now your starting lineups for today's game brought to you by the Rosell Department Store. For Western Wayne at tight end, Luke Silfies. At uh, split end, Dylan Walk. Left tackle is Gavin Laberton. The right tackle is Austin Boguski. Evan Coons at left guard. Anthony Marone at right guard. And Victor Duda at center. Matt Valenda at quarterback. Benjamin Burkhart lines up at fullback. And in at tailback for Western Wayne, Colby Salter. Bailey Walk will line up at flanker. And the kick return team set to rock and roll for Western Wayne. And that, pat, that kickoff is caught at about the 22-yard line by an upback from the Western Wayne Wildcats. And he takes the football out across the 36-yard line. And that's where the Western Wayne Wildcats will go to work. First down and 10. Defensively for the Honesdale Hornets, brought to you by Roselle Department Store. Cameron Baker at defensive end, along with Justin Lobasso. Jacob Kabonik at left tackle and Isaiah Sims at right tackle. Uh, it will be Jim Ludwig at the outside linebacker along with Nick Vlasic, Bo Freermuth at inside linebacker along with Dylan Canfield, Bancroft and Parker at the corners, Ethan Dunn, your free safety. Western Wayne Wildcats will go to work from their own 36-yard line as Valenda will go with a long count. He'll hand it off to the tailback and... That looks like Salter, and he lowers the shoulder and drives to about the Wildcat 37-yard line. Oh boy, Collinsdale is really packing them in on defense. They got their linebackers cheated up to about three yards. They got, they're playing a five-man front, and they got about three guys right within the center, right around the center. Crowded going in there, but... Uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, pretty difficult running up the middle as the Wildcats pick up two. They'll face second down and eight from their own 28-yard line. Sophomore quarterback, Valenda under center. 
Here's the handoff coming to the near side across the 40-yard line. And that's a big run as they sweep to the near side of the field. Big fullback. <laughs> yeah, the big fullback for the Western Wayne Wildcats. That's Cole Fuller getting the call. And Fuller just bounced that. I don't know if it was a design run as a sweep, but he just bounced that to the outside and had a lot of real estate out there. Six foot two, 235 pounds senior. That's good for a Western Wayne Wildcat first down. And if you're Holmes, though, that's what you got to guard against. It's great to play that five-man front and pack everybody in there, but if they run tosses and sweeps, <laughs> you're putting, asking a lot of your corners and your back and your outside backers. First down for the Western Wayne Wildcats in Honesdale territory. Valenda to throw downfield, pass falls incomplete as it was intended for the tight end, Luke Selfies. He had a step on his man, just a little bit overthrown. So Valenda, the sophomore, might have taken a pretty good hit as he unloaded the football. Second down and 10 for Western Wayne in Honesdale territory at the 47-yard line. So Matt Valenda will run the offense with an eye formation in the backfield. And here comes the snap. Valenda will hand it off to Salter, and he's tripped up on the play for a short gain, maybe to the 46-yard line. Kobe Sauter, 85 rushing attempts coming into this ball game, 533 yards and six touchdowns. Boy, Nick, we've been calling his name for many years. It seems like he's been here forever. Uh, didn't he start as a freshman? He started as That's a freshman. That's what I thought. He, uh, so, you know, he's seen some, some game time. Uh, Dylan Walk will be split at the bottom of your screen on third down and nine for Western Wayne as... They face long yardage, and the pass will come to the near side. Dylan Walk has it at the 30, 25, and Walk will go all the way for the touchdown. Great, great catch and run there by Walk. He's, he's done that, that a few was, times, too. That was a 46-yard touchdown run a catch for Dylan Walk. Nothing and the really Western fancy. Wayne Wildcats are on the board. Nothing really fancy, just a little quick slant there. Just made a nice move inside, and there was, there was no safety help over the top. Now Western Wayne will attempt the extra point. Jake Shepard is on for the point after touchdown out of the hold of Dylan Walk. And this kick is perfect. Right over the bend. <laughs> 7-0, the Wildcats will go to a break on Adams Cable High School Football. The Gabriel family and the staff at Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated of Carbondale send best wishes to our local athletes and teams for a successful season. In your time of need, call 282-1219 for the ultimate in professional service from Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street, Carbondale. What does it mean to be an expert? Does it mean getting the job done right? Or being able to pinpoint a problem and quickly find a solution? Whatever the meaning, the team at NJS are your experts in hydraulic and pneumatic components. So whether you need a custom hose built on the spot or a cylinder repaired from the ground up, the experts at NJS are there when you need them. And with the area's largest hose and fittings warehouse, NJS has thousands of the parts you need in stock and ready to go. NJS Route 6 Mayfield, online at NJSGO.com. NJS is proud to call this area home and proud to sponsor our area athletes on Adams Cable Channel 7. By Western Wayne, and this kick is going to be caught inside the 10-yard line. And on the return for the Honesdale Hornets, they take it out across the 25-yard line. That was Ethan Dunn on the return. And uh, the Honesdale Hornets will bring its offense on to the football field, trailing by the score of 7-0 with just about two minutes gone by here in the first quarter. Yeah, I know Honesdale's a little thin at the, at the running back position and things like that. You don't want to have your quarterback returning kicks too yeah. often. Jacob Hodder will lead Honesdale to the line of scrimmage. And Ethan Dunn will get set to run the Honesdale offense. And Dunn will take a look at the Wildcat defense. 
Dunn will send a man in motion. He will hand it off, and this play goes nowhere as the Wildcat defense shuts down Cameron Baker on the carry. Baker is a junior, six foot, 175 pounds. He is filling in for the injured Garen Barnes, who is out of the lineup. So two running backs out of the lineup for Honesdale, Nick, and that hurts. Yeah, that hurts uh, no matter what, what the situation is. Okay, as the Honesdale Hornets try to go back to work. Now let's check out, see what's going on here, and uh, a little technical difficulty right here for some unknown reason on the uh, audio end here. Now the Honesdale Hornets will face third down and nine as they want to put it in the air. Dunn throws it downfield. It is picked off by Western Wayne at the 45-yard line. Dylan Walk picked it off. That's a great, great individual effort, but you got a you got a flag here against Western Wayne. It's going to nullify. I don't know if it's roughing the passer or. Well, we'll check it out as uh, the Wildcat defense was right there. Yep, roughing the passer. Yeah, the Wildcat defense was uh, right there to pick it off. Well, Nick, we're doing a little troubleshooting here in the booth on the audio end. I think we're good to go for the live audio. Good, good. Yeah, ran into a little technical difficulty, but I think we're okay. Somebody unplugged us that wasn't supposed to. <laughs> okay, we're good to go. From the 41-yard line, the Honesdale Hornets first down with the football. And they will hand it off and come to the near side of the field. Free Muth with it. He's inside the 40, and he's upended at the 34-yard line of Western Wayne on a sweep to the near side. Honesdale came up with good blocking, and they are deep in Wildcat territory with the football at the 33. Yeah, Good-looking play right there. Just like almost a student body type of sweep. He had, he had a bunch of blockers out in front of him, and they all picked up somebody, and he got him off to the races. So a new set of downs for the Honesdale Hornets as they go to work from the 33-yard line of Western Wayne. Ethan Dunn will send a man in motion. He'll hand it off. They'll go the other way, and Luke Bancroft was hemmed in on the play. Wildcat defense all over it. Wildcats say there was a fumble. No indication from the official. Yes, there it is. Finally, the official came up. It's the Wildcats football at the 34. That's a, that's a Butch Keller staple in his offense, that little inside handoff. But if it's congested in there and you don't get a clean handoff, that can happen. So the Honesdale Hornets had something going, and they turn over the football by virtue of the fumble. That's the first turnover of the football game, and it goes to Western Wayne, and they will go to work from their own 33-yard line, first down and 10, leading 7-0 with 7.51 to play here in the first quarter. And the Western Wayne Wildcats want to throw the football. Valenda throws it on the far side out in the flat, but Honesdale is right there defensively to shut it down. Made him lost the yard or two there. Good defense by the Honesdale Hornets to shut it down. And the Wildcats right now will talk it over. Well, opening night of... Uh, League play here at the Sharky Rossetti Sports Complex in Varden. Division two play. Boy, that's a tough, tough division, Nick. We talked about it many times as the Wildcats will go with the ground game and they advance the football up across the 35 yard line. Kobe Sauter on the carry. And uh, he picked a, up a couple to about the 37. Yeah, Take a look at the upcoming two games. Is tough. It's you know, there are no easy games when you take a look at it coming up for both of these teams. You know, North Pocono, Prep, Valley View, West Scranton. 
So you're going to have to bring your A game each and every week. Uh, Valley View Prep is a big game tonight or tomorrow. Tomorrow, yeah. Saturday afternoon matinee game. Wildcats will go off the play fake. Looking, firing downfield. The pass is caught at the 43-yard line. Good for a Wildcat first down. And that was Dylan Walk on the reception. He's a 5'10", 175-pound junior. You, you think Dylan uh, played any catch in the backyard with his brother I Scott? I think they threw a few footballs to him. <laughs> so it starts to pay off after a while, doesn't it? Yeah, you get to be pretty comfortable with uh, the routes that you run, and that was right in front of the Wildcat bench. And the Wildcats will sustain the drive with their second first down of the football game. And they will go to work from the Hornet 42-yard line. And they will give it to Sauter, and he is wrapped up. Some good defense by the Honesdale Hornets. Bo Freermuth, the inside linebacker, leading the pursuit for the Hornet defense. Seven nothing, the Wildcats have the lead with 5.50 to play first quarter. Great to have you on board here tonight for Adams Cable High School football. Official spot is at the 43 yard line as the Wildcats with Belanda running the offense. Belanda, short drop, fires out in the flat. The pass is complete to Dylan Walk. Walk with a nice move, first down and more inside the 20. Finally caught near the 15 yard line. Just a one man pattern really. I mean, they give you a full house backfield there. The one receiver split out wide. <laughs> Throw yeah. So right now, the Wildcats are knocking on the door, picking up another first down. They have a 7 nothing lead and looking for more with the football at about the 13-yard line. Well, Don McDonough, former Western Wayne Wildcat head coach on the near sideline, calling the offensive plays for the Wildcats. And head coach Randy Wolf. And they will go with the running attack. And there is Sauter zigzagging his way inside the five-yard line. Boy, Kobe Sauter, the junior, some nice moves going up the middle. Behind the blocking of Evan Coons, Victor Duda, and Anthony Marone on that front line. But it's a different speed out there than what we've been used to seeing in the past few weeks. Sure is. Uh, you know, you're seeing guys really get off the ball here on both ends and, and really hitting the holes and they're running even, you know, walk on a couple of those catches. I mean, he's, uh, he's got a different gear. Second down for the Wildcats from the five-yard line. They could pick up a first down at about the three. That looked like Burkhart getting the call, but he ran into some defensive pursuit from the Honesdale Hornets. They were all over that one. Looks like Isaiah Sims was in the mix on the tackle for the Honesdale defense. Third down and about a yard to go. If the Wildcats pick up a first down right here. They will be in good shape with the football resting at the Hornet four-yard line. We'll have some updates for you in high school football around the area coming up throughout the broadcast. As Valenda will set them down. Out of the power eye, it is a keeper by Valenda, and he goes He's in. into the end zone for the touchdown. Matt Valenda with a four-yard quarterback sneak, and the Wildcats lead at 13 to nothing. Yeah, he just took the shortest route, just give it to the quarterback. He just pushed the ball over to, over the goal line there, and easy six. And the Wildcats take a 13 to nothing lead. Jake Shepard on for the point after out of the hold of Dylan Walk. And line drive kick, got it. Wildcats 14, Honesdale nothing will go to a break on Adams Cable High School Football. Tonkin Auto Supply, your Napa dealer in Carbondale, has been serving the area for over 36 years with the largest inventory of automotive replacement parts and accessories. Experience Napa know-how with knowledgeable customer service from Glenn Garth and the staff at Tonkin Auto Supply in Carbondale, your Napa know-how folks.
If you've been dreaming about modernizing your living space, Tom's Floor Shop and Childs is ready to make those dreams a reality. Tom's Floor Shop offers a wide variety of name brand carpeting, hardwood, laminate, vinyl, ceramic tile, and professional installation. Style your home in contemporary elegance and classic beauty with a personalized touch by Tom's Floor Shop. All roads lead to where great floors begin at Tom's Floor Shop Exit 6 off the Casey Highway in Childs. Welcome back to the Sharky Rossetti Sports Complex here in Varden. Alongside Nick Homick and producer Anthony Cook, Steve Young with you, where the Wildcats have taken a 14 to nothing lead over the Honesdale Hornets. He'll kick it off now to Honesdale. And from about the 10-yard line, here come the Hornets on the return. And they get a short one out across the 25-yard line. Still pretty good field position now. That was Ethan Dunn on the return for Honesdale. And the Honesdale Hornets, uh, Nick had the ball deep in uh, Wildcat territory, but they turned it over on a fumble. We'll see if they can get something going right here as they will start this drive near their own 27-yard line. Yeah, they had a little success running the ball there. I mean, I, I don't know if Honesdale is really a, a passing, much of a passing team, but don't, don't go to sleep on them because I'm sure they'll throw a couple of quick ones on you. 3.48 on the clock as Dunn will keep the football and he'll scramble across the 30 and squirts near the 31-yard line. That's just the basic motion with the, the fumble was that kind of inside handoff and Dunn just kept it. So for the Honesdale Hornets, uh, last year they started a lot of freshmen and sophomores and here tonight without uh, two of their running backs, so they're shorthanded in that backfield as they will come to the near side right now. And with the football, they come down to the near side across the 40, and that's a good for a Hornsdale Hornet first down. That was Bo Freermuth, the fullback with the football. They got something working on this right side with that sweep. That's twice now, same area of the field even. He just a, shoe, a shoestring tackle by the defender there for Western Wayne. Saved the touchdown. So the Honesdale Hornets will go to work with a new set of downs from the 40-yard line of the Western Wayne Wildcats. Here's Ethan Dunn to take a look at the Wildcat defense. Some men come in motion and flags all over yeah. as the handoff went to Luke Bancroft and that play uh, got off to a slow start, and I think every official nearby threw a flag, Nick. You can get away with that in Canada, but not here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two men in motion. Man. Not a good thing to do. And the penalty will be called against the uh, Honesdale Hornets. From the 45 after the penalty, first down and 15 for Honesdale. And Ethan Dunn, the junior quarterback, will set them down on first down and long. Toss play will come to Freer Muth, and he's Ooh. drilled out of bounds in front of the Wildcat bench. He got drilled, and that ball came popping up, luckily for him. After the play, bounds. after they were out of bounds, not before they advanced the football to the... Let's check the spot, the 39-yard line of the Wildcats. But, I mean, for a third string running back, <laughs> yeah. he's showing really a lot of patience, some speed. Uh, you know, really a nose to find the hole and really hit it up in there. I mean, it's yeah, a tough way to make a living. Gain of one on the last play, Nick, for, for the Honesdale offense. As Ethan Dunn will go with a long count, movement on the line. And there's another flag. So we'll check the violation for you, but it looks as though it might go against the Wildcats, and it will. Get that free five back. Five yarder will place the football at the 34 yard line. 233 remaining here in the first quarter. 14 to nothing. Western Wayne, your leader as Jacob Hodder, the junior center, will lead the Hornets to the line of scrimmage. 
from the 39. Toss play. Freer Muth will go around the left side and draws a crowd. Good defense by the Western Wayne Wildcats. Ted Slizinski leading the way at 6'3", 230 pounds, and a junior with the pursuit. And third down coming up. Third down and three for the Hornet offense. This Wildcat defense has been very stingy this year, giving up about 6.2 points per game. And it's done. Short drop back, fires the pass. It is complete. At the 26-yard line to Justin Labasso, the tight end. That is his 15th catch of the season. And that will be good for a Hornet first down. Yeah, Labasso went up, grabbed that ball. I mean, Souter hit him immediately, but you know, good, good possession there by Labasso. Good target, Nick, at six foot three. Also, yeah, there's some. I'm telling you, there's some good size on both sides of the ball here. And they're all young. They're all sophomores, freshmen, sophomores, juniors. Very good to see. Quarterback Ethan Dunn, up under center. And the handoff will come to the near side. Freer Muth run out of bounds by the Wildcat defense and Scott Smith coming up from his cornerback position to make the tackle. 5'7", 160 pound junior leading the way for the Wildcat defense. Boy, what a crowd on hand for tonight's game, a Nick. Fantastic crowd. Was, and, and there was people in the stands an hour and a half, two hours before the game. Yeah, you start winning, and uh, you get uh, that winning fever going. And, of course, a rivalry game, Honesdale, Western Wayne, two rivals locally. And, boy, you've got something going here on a Friday night in Barton. Inside handoff goes nowhere. I tell you, I pulled up to the in the parking lot and there's a sign on the back of the bleachers here, welcome to the Varden Garden. Yeah, <laughs> you've got to love it. <laughs> Freer Muth on the last carry for no gain. Football marked at the Wildcat 22 with a buck 29 on the clock. Time remaining, first quarter and the Wildcats up 14 to nothing. Holmesdale has something going right now. Very impressive drive as Dunn will drop back to throw, and this pass is complete at the 12-yard line. Labasso again. Labasso, the big six-foot-three tight end, making the catch. It's nice to have a, it's a quarterback's best friend having a big target who's not afraid to go get it. Oh, that is something to see. You know, it's very rare that you see the tight end getting the ball thrown to him. You know, in days gone by in high school football, they would utilize it, all of the uh, – Coaches from days from years ago would utilize that tight end, and here tonight you could tell Butch Keller is somewhere in the mix. Dunn will take a look at the Wildcat offense. They'll go on a late handoff. Freer move drops at about the 10-yard line. But regardless, this is a, this is an impressive drive by Holmesdale here. Well, first of all, you're keeping the football away out of the hands of Western Wayne. They already have a 14-0 lead. But more importantly, you're putting together a very well-organized, time-consuming drive. We have 30 seconds left in the first half here at the Sharky Rossetti Sports Complex. As Dunn will come up to the line of scrimmage. And man will come in motion. Dunn will hand it off. They go right up the middle, and that is Baker inside the five-yard line. Well, Cameron Baker, the junior, taking the handoff, and he takes the football to about the two-yard line. Final play of the quarter here. That's it. That will bring an end to the first quarter of play here at the Sharky Rossetti Sports Complex in Varden with the Wildcats leading the Hornets 14 to nothing on Adams Cable High School Football. Excavation projects require experience, planning, and heavy-duty equipment. Nick's Excavating and Paving in Carbondale considers every project to be unique, which requires an individual approach to meet a wide variety of needs in residential and commercial excavating. Nick's Excavating and Paving specialize in land clearing, demolition, foundations, driveways, new paving and seal coating, mulch, or stone. Clearing the way for your next project. Nick's Excavating and Paving Carbondale.
The White's Crossing Sports Shop, Canaan Street in Carbondale, is the leading authority for the outdoors in northeastern Pennsylvania. They carry a full line of archery accessories, hunting and reloading supplies, live bait, and a variety of fishing tackle. Call 282-4699 or log on to their website at whitescrossing.com. Finding that unique seasonal outdoor item has never been easier with help from Tom and the staff at the White's Crossing Sports Shop. Homesdale Hornets have something going right now. Third down and a yard to go from the Wildcat three-yard line. Ethan Dunn will set them down. He will hand it off to the tailback, and that looked like Baker getting the call. He'll be close as the players unpile. No indication of a first down as of yet. They might want a measurement here, Nick. No, that's, no, it's going to be a first down, I believe. Yep, first down, sticks are down. First down and goal for the Honesdale Hornets. First and goal for the Hornets, trailing 14 to nothing, opening moments of quarter number two here in Varden. And we will have a timeout call by the Hornets. The Wayne Martelli is a proud supporter of the Western Wayne Wildcats. Go to their website at waymartdeli.com or call 488-5970 and place your order from the many taste-tempting selections on their menu, featuring delicious sandwiches, homemade soup, deli salads, and, of course, the famous Waymar Deli hot and cold subs. From your friends at the Waymar Deli, good luck, Western Wayne Wildcats. Well, the Holmesdale Hornets, uh, Nick called a timeout to talk it over, and I think that's a good one. You want to make sure everyone is on the same page after a very impressive drive. Yeah, I think that's a, it's a wise timeout, especially here in the first half. And, you know, the drive you got going here, you got to come over with some points now. So Mike Jerkowski in his third season coaching the Holmesdale Hornets. And they have something going. They're knocking on the door with the football. First down and goal from the Wildcat two-yard line. And up to the line of scrimmage they come as uh, Hornets will wait for the whistle. There it is, and we're set to rock and roll. As Dunn will call out the signals, here comes the snap. Inside handoff to about the one-yard line. Who got the call on that one, Nick? Might have been Baker. Uh, ten. Ten? That was free or mute. Free or mute, I'm sorry. So I don't have a I don't folks, I don't have a roster in front of me. I'm trying to do camera and yeah. call out uh Yeah, Glenn Muskowski is uh away this weekend, so uh I think it takes more vacations than yeah. <laughs> Johnny Carson. <That's> right. <laughs> Second and goal from the one. As they will line up Baker and Freermuth in the backfield. Men will come in motion. And this time the toss play will go to Freermuth. And he's in, he's in for the touchdown. Just a one-yard run by Bo Freermuth. And the Honesdale Hornets have hit the scoreboard, trailing 14-6. to six. Just barely snuck that ball over that goal line. Mr. Wayne made him earn it, though. So the Hornets now trail 14 to six with 10.48 to play here in the first half. And Robbie Campen is on for the point after out of the hold of Ethan Dunn. And this kick is perfect. 14-7 as the Honesdale Hornets answer with a touchdown on Adams Cable High School Football. There's some cool new stuff out there. Cars that drive themselves. Phones that talk to us. There's a cafe behind you. And now TV everywhere. That's right, Lucky Adams Cable Service customer. Now you can watch channels from your TV package just about anywhere on just about any device. Catch your favorites in the waiting room, coffee shop, break room, the airport, wherever. TV everywhere. It's a cool extra service for no extra cost. Visit AdamsCable.com and sign up today. When your car does this. Call us first. 
Every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. That's the motto at Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale. In an accident, remember, it is your car and your choice to choose your repair center. Call Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale, well known for integrity, safety, and craftsmanship. Good luck to all area teams. From Tony, Mike, Jeff, and the staff at Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center, Carbondale. Welcome back to the Sharky Rossetti Sports Complex in Varden, where Bo Freermuth scores on a one-yard touchdown run. Rab Robbie Campen adds the extra point. It's 14-7 Western Wayne. From the 10-yard line, the Western Wayne Wildcats will return the football, and they get a good one from Kobe Salter across the 35 out to the 38-yard line. And Western Wayne this time will have good field position to start this drive first down and 10. So a good old-fashioned high school football game, Nick, between the Wildcats and the Honesdale Hornets here in Varden. Absolutely, just good, you know, good fundamental football. Uh, you know, like I said, I think the speed of the game tonight is something we're not accustomed to seeing too much of. Yeah, they keep it moving. They uh, like to uh, keep things moving, and both teams uh, possess a lot of speed. As Western Wayne will go to work from its own 38-yard line. Valenda in some traffic. Fires a pass downfield, and it is caught at the 46-yard line by Bailey Walk. He's a senior, 6 foot and 185 pounds. That will be short of a first down. I'll tell you, credit to Walk there. He came back to his quarterback. He saw he was in trouble. You know, something that's, that's, tough, to, that's tough to teach a kid. You, know, you see your quarterback's in trouble. Start working your way back to him. Let it, give him an opportunity to get the ball to you. First quarter score in Carbondale. The tra Lackawanna Trail Lions lead the Chargers 14 to nothing. Dunmore leads Montrose 14 to nothing. As we move along, it is uh, Lakeland and Susquehanna scoreless. And West Scranton leads North Pocono 7 6. Old Forge 6 0 over Riverside. And the Western Wayne Wildcats go with the ground game. Try to get some more updates for you here. Scranton leads Williamsport 14 to nothing. And Wallenpawpack and Wyoming Valley West deadlocked at seven in the second quarter. Thanks to producer Anthony Cook for the updates. And for the Western Wayne Wildcats, they will sustain this drive with a first down at the 49, their own 49 yard line. Now they'll try to uh, get set up offensively. On first down and 10, Belanda looks and the pass is complete to Dylan Walk. Spin move across the 50 and then pays the price at the 48-yard line of Honesdale. Yeah, that's a, that's more of a, that's a, goes down as a running play. That was a, ba that was a back of lateral there. Isaiah Sims, the right tackle of the Honesdale defense at 6'4", 255 pounds, leading the way defensively. Pickup of three, second down and seven. Great to have you on board tonight for Adams Cable High School football. Big thanks to uh, Kyle Kemmerer back at the Adams Cable studio, keeping things going with the live radio broadcast. Kyle, thank you very much. Great to have you back this week as uh, the Western Wayne Wildcats tried to run the football, but uh, they're shut down by this Honesdale defense, Nick. Yeah, very stout defense by Holmesdale. They, you know, they make it work for it. Right? Other than the first touchdown, I mean, they made Western Wayne have to put together some drives and, and eat some clock on their own. Well, Randy Wolf in his second year as head coach here at Western Wayne with a record of 11 wins and five losses. You know, you take a look at their record coming in tonight, Nick, uh, five wins and no losses, but dating back to last year, they beat Myers in the Eastern Conference 3A game, 26-21. So Western Wayne is actually on a six-game yeah. winning streak dating back to last year as they will give it to Sauter, and Sauter lowers the shoulder and drives to the 45-yard line. Yeah, and that's something really to build on. I mean, obviously, you look at uh, the stands tonight, you got people all along the fence here. I mean, I know it's homecoming, but still. Uh, you know, it's, it's good to see, you know, the kids appreciate it. When they're, they, you know, they, the work they put in when they see the fans come out. And fans, obviously, a lot of times like to come out when their team's, you know, doing well. But this is, this is a good atmosphere tonight. Punting team will come on for Western Wayne on the fourth down play, fourth and four. And this oh, is a fake. Uh, fake, and they will try for the first down, and they won't get it. 
That was a fake, and it, let's check and see who that went 44. to. That was uh, Burkhart, and uh, Honesdale was right there. They, they were right there defensively. Good time to call it. It was, yes. But, uh, you know, just came about a yard short there. So the Honesdale Hornets take over possession of the football at their own 42-yard line, first down and 10. They trail 14-7 to with 7-16 to play here in the first half. And, of course, uh, two great coaching staffs. Uh, Mike, uh, Randy Wolf, I should say, on the Western Wayne sideline, surrounded by a lot of great head coaches. Of course, Don McDonough and a great supporting cast. Mike Jurkowski in his third year on the far sideline has Butch Keller on his sideline as an assistant coach. Uh, Butch started the Honesdale football program as they go with both Freer Muth and Freer Muth advances the football across the 45 out to the 47 yard line of Honesdale. Yeah, Butch uh, built a very impressive uh, football program at Honesdale. They won numerous suburban football conference titles over the years. And uh, both sidelines with guys who really enjoy football. Yeah, of course, Butch coached here at Western Wayne as well. Sure. Yeah, had a great chat with uh, Coach Keller before the game. Talked to him probably for a minimum of 15 minutes. Second down and five for the Honesdale Hornets as they will go with the running attack. And <laughs> Western Wayne bottles it up. Nothing there for the running game of Honesdale. So it's third down and a long three yards to go for the Hornet offense. As we near six minutes remaining in a very quick moving first half of football here at the Sharky Rossetti Sports Complex. Great to have you on board tonight on this beautiful autumn evening. Perfect football weather as it cooled off, Nick. Uh, about time. <laughs> and Dunn will hand it off. Freer Muth will go around the right side. He's got the first down for the Honesdale Hornets. That's been their bread and butter all night is that little sweep to the right. That's their fourth first down of this football game, and they will sustain the drive in Wildcat territory near the 44-yard line. So this offensive line of uh, Honesdale, you've got Labasso, a junior at tight end. Carney is a sophomore at left tackle. At Cabbage at left guard, he's a sophomore. Your center, Jacob Hodder, is a junior. Kabonic at right guard is a junior, so... Got some uh, young players in there as they go with Luke Bancroft on the handoff, and he's hemmed in trying to come to the near side. And they're only going to get better with each and every game they play, Nick. The more, you know, they started young last year. Uh, talking with head coach Mike Jurkowski, he started a lot of freshmen, some sophomores, and uh, you know what experience does for a high school football team. Oh, absolutely. You can't beat the game experience. I mean, you, you can't simulate the speed of it in practice, it's just tough. Hollisdale's got kind of a lower numbers for, for a big school. Yeah, I think they only have about 27 on the roster as Freer Muth is caught by the defense of the Western Wayne Wildcats. This very stingy defense that has played so well all season. Burkhart and company leading the way defensively. Talking with Butch Keller and uh, Mike Jurkowski, uh, numbers are a problem, but uh, they're working to improve in that area. You know, I, I think numbers are throughout District 2. I, I, I in, venture uh, to say that numbers many are down schools, everywhere. Sure. Across the board. Third down and 10 for the Honesdale Hornets with four minutes and 23 seconds to play here in the first half. So you have... Uh, Low numbers at Honesdale, low numbers at Lakeland. Different schools around the area. Of course, uh, you get the smaller schools. It's always a, a difficult situation. As the Honesdale Hornets with Ethan Dunn up under center, Dunn will hand it off, and this will... Screen. That's a perfect screen and incomplete. Looked like a handoff, and there's a flag. They're going to throw a flag. Basically, he, he tackled the, the running back who was going off, for, or I'm sorry, the tight end who was going off for a screen. Well, I bought the fake, Nick. It was that good. 
I saw him before. I saw him fake it. I just didn't pick up who he was screening to. That's going to be called against uh, the Holmesdale Hornets, I believe. I think he is. Was that a holding? To the, wrong, to the wrong team. Okay, let's double check this. Because I don't think Coach Wolf would be going crazy if he was against <laughs> Holmesdale. <laughs> now, I saw the one official point to Honesdale. Now they'll get together and try to sort this thing out with 3.57 to play. Time remaining here in the first half. 14-7, to seven, the Wildcats lead it. Yeah, there it is. Holmesdale against Western, uh, holding call against Western Wayne. And that will place the football at the 34-yard line and give the Hornets a very important first down. Deep in, uh, deep in Wildcat territory. Yeah, that's, I mean, Holmesdale could have used a break like that. Jacob Hodder leads Honesdale to the line of scrimmage from the 34-yard line on first down and 10. Dunn will hand it off. Freermuth will bang forward, fumble. Ball is on the turf, and let's find out who comes up with it. I believe the Wildcats will have it, and they do. Hornets turn it over. I believe that's a, the second turnover of this football game for the Honesdale Hornets. And they had a very impressive drive going. Yeah, it looked like Bailey Walk came up with the fumble recovery for Western Wayne. Wildcats are in business. First down and 10 as they will go to work from their own 34-yard line. 14 to seven, your score, Western Wayne leading it. They'll take over possession of the football. As their sophomore quarterback, Matt Valenda, will go to work. And Valenda will hand it off. Sauter will squirt to the 39 yard line behind some good upfront blocking. So division play getting underway, and from here on in, how important every game will be for the teams trying to fought, fight for a playoff spot and uh, division, the division crown. Hard to believe week six already. And yeah, where did it go as Salter will take the handoff and gets wrapped up on the play? <laughs> Nick Vlasic, the outside linebacker, he's a sophomore coming up to make the tackle for the Honesdale Hornets. Yeah, Nick, uh, suddenly you're into opening night. Labor Day goes by. Boom, you turn around. Here it is, week number six. Yeah, going in October. First is Sunday, so. Yeah. Really, the last month of the season, the regular season here. <laughs> Played right through Christmas almost, but. Third down and four, the Wildcats. Belanda with an eye formation in the backfield. Off the play fake. Rolling out. He'll keep it. Across the 40, 45, whacked at midfield by Vlasic. No flag. There's Wildcat the flag. there. Woo. There's where will the who will the flag be called on though? Well, is it going to be called on the Wildcat sideline? I don't know. Didn't see the flag come. Ooh, against the Hornets. It was a, it was a close play against the sideline there, and, and you know, a clean play, but then. What's not clean is you get up and say something to him after you, after you did it. Well, here's your penalty. It will be You'll get against the Hornets. You'll get these in rivalry games. You know, this is what it's about sometimes, and as long as nobody gets hurt. That was some kind of a hit right in front of the Wildcat bench. You know, Hornsdale has to be careful. You're still in this ball game. Yeah, you know, you're right in it. Around. And this is a key possession for the Western Wayne Wildcats. 2.13 on the clock. You're up by 7, 14 to 7. And uh, now you're deep in Honesdale territory at the 34-yard line. Yeah, I mean, don't, I wouldn't be surprised to see Honesdale even call a timeout here just to, just to get, the, get back at the neutral almost. This is the first time we've seen any extra activity after any of the plays, so. Uh, do we have a? We don't have a timeout. 
Here we go. Good to go now at the 34. Yeah, they didn't start the clock, Nick. Oh, no, the play went out of bounds, so the clock will start when the ball is snapped as the Wildcats are set to go. Burkhart will dot the I formation. Melinda off the play fake, rolling up, firing downfield, overthrows his intended receiver. Derek Mason was the wide out on the far side, but the pass was overthrown. Good coverage defensively by the Honesdale Hornets. Next week, we will be on the road at Lakeland as the Lakeland Chiefs will take on the Riverside Vikings. 6.45 airtime for that ball game from Lakeland Stadium. And ironically, Nick, that will be the last time we will be at Lakeland this year. Maybe we'll dodge the cold weather this time. I, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Second down and 10. They're going for to the air once again. And That's a pick. This, that ball intercepted. Yes, it was picked off. Pass was intercepted by Ethan Dunn, the free safety. He just played a nice center field there, came over. Looked Good like coverage. it was intended for Dylan Walk. And uh, Honesdale comes up with a big defensive play with 159 remaining here in the first half. And the Wildcats are leading this football game 14 to 7. Yeah, if I'm Honesdale here, you just obviously just run your offense, obviously, but don't let's not have any dumb penalties or any turnovers here. Hold on to the ball, get in the halftime, down by seven. And try to get something going. You're right in this football game, 14 to 7. You don't want to make any kind of mistakes inside your own five yard line. Ball is at the four. First down and 10 for the Honesdale Hornets. Fans here in Varden want defense as uh, Honesdale will go with the ground game. And they will get strung out on the play. So what you want to do, like you said, Nick, play it safe right here. If Honesdale was able to pick up a first down, that would make things even a little bit easier on uh, head coach Mike Jerkowski. But they're going to take as much time off the clock as they can. No need to rush. No need to rush. You should run two more plays here. And take a look at the play clock and let it run right down as we have a minute 25 on the game clock and 15 seconds on the play clock. Ethan Dunn will roll out. You keep, and oh, he's decked inside the five-yard line. Is that a safety? Very close. No, they're going to mark that. Uh, I don't know how he got. I don't know how he got across the goal line, back across the goal line, but uh, he did it. Generous spot, to say the least. So here you go, Nick. You have 50 seconds on the clock now, and you're. Backs are against the wall with the football at your own one. So you're going to have to play it safe right here as uh, Ethan Dunn will come up under center. And Dunn will hand it off, and they'll try to come the near side, and uh, they just get across the goal line, and uh, they'll keep it, keep it going. Ooh, that was close. Of course, Western Wayne's going to call a timeout here, and you've got a punt now, obviously, if you're Holmesdale. But you, wow. So third down, third down and about 14 yards to go, and we'll keep it right here for the timeout and uh, thank all of our fine sponsors for making high school football possible. Adams Cable Service, Peston's Auto Body and Collision Center, by the Comfort Doctors, T.E. Spall and Son, Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated with locations at 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street. NJS Systems and Controls, Route 6 Mayfield. Buy your Napa Auto Parts Store, Tonkin Auto Supply. Tom's Floor Shop, Main Street Childs. Nick's Excavating and Paving. White's Crossing Sports Shop, The Waymar Deli. And of course, your starting lineups for today's game presented by the Roselle Department Store. 22 seconds to play, time remaining here in the first half, 14 to seven, the Wildcats have the lead. Hornets have the football, fourth down and 14 as they will operate from their own one yard line. So this will be a punting situation for Ethan Dunn 
from deep in his own end zone. He's going to take a look back to make sure that he's in the end zone. And here comes the snap. Dunn will get away a very short kick. This kick is going to bounce at about the 12-yard line. It gets a Honesdale roll out across the 20 and is finally downed at the 23-yard line with 14 seconds remaining in the first half. Well, if anything, it got good hang time on it. <laughs> and it uh, actually hit some clock. But... <laughs> yeah, the, you talk about a pressure situation. You're in your own end zone. You have no breathing room and a rush coming at you. <laughs> So the Wildcats right here with a seven-point lead have a shot. Plenty of time on the clock, 14 seconds. Are we going to the air? So here we go. As Valanda will take the snap, dropping back, fires. The pass is complete to Dylan Walk inside the five-yard line. On a slant pattern, they only used up about a uh, couple seconds. of seconds off the clock. So right now, the football will be marked at the five-yard line. That is good for a Western Wayne first down. I believe that is their fifth of this first half, and we have a timeout. We're going to keep it right here for the timeout. So, Nick, interesting situation now. Ball is at the five. You have 12 seconds left. You're up by seven. Timeout, talking it over. What an opportunity for the Wildcats. Absolutely. Well, you, you know... You probably have time for two more plays if you're lucky. You know, if you don't have an if you don't have anything in this first play, throw it away. I don't think they have time to run the ball. They've used all their time outs, I believe, right? Uh, Western Wayne. Yes. Uh, I believe they have one timeout oh, yeah, left. They, 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 okay, that's it. That is on the board there. Okay, so all right. Well, you definitely maybe you could run the ball here with obviously 12 seconds to go and a timeout in the bag. You know, I, I would try something that even a roll out. If you're Holmesdale, you gotta keep, you gotta have two guys eyeball and walk. Uh, in my opinion, and he's out on the, he's on the left hand side here. They have a single they have a full house backfield here. So they basically, I think they threw that quick slant on this last time. They're walking that safety out there to try and split the difference here. From the five yard line, off the play fake, it is Valenda heading for the end zone. Did he get in? Yes, touchdown, a five-yard touchdown run for sophomore quarterback Matt Volanda. That's a good call. And the Western Wayne Wildcats lead the Holmesdale Hornets by the score of 20-7. to seven. That was a perfect play by sophomore quarterback Matt Volanda. On a five-yard run, Now for the Western Wayne Wildcats, Jake Shepard will attempt the extra point out of the hold of Dylan Walk. And Western Wayne has a 21 to nothing lead over Honesdale. We'll come right back with more high school football after this timeout on Adams Cable High School Football. Too hot? Just call Spall. Too cold? Just call Spall. T.E. Spall & Son, where you'll always get our upfront pricing. Plus, now through Wednesday, own a new energy-saving AC system for just $2.84 a day with our exclusive guarantee. Plus, get 0% financing. We called Spall and not only do we save a lot of money, but they're a name that you can trust. They get the job done fast and they get it done right. Just call Spall or see us now at callspall.com. Western Wayne Wildcats come up with a big touchdown just before halftime as they punch it in and take a 21-7 lead over the Honesdale Hornets with four seconds to play here in the first half. Yeah, good, good heads-up football by uh, Western Wayne there, uh, stopping Honesdale on, uh, on, off, on the defensive end and then cashing in. Wildcats kick it off, and this will be done on the return for the Honesdale Hornets across the 25, the 30. He's at the 40 at midfield and run out of bounds in front of the Wildcat bench. And that will bring an end to the first half of today's game here at the Sharky Rossetti Sports Complex. Wow. 
He is exciting with the football in his hands. I'll you tell you. Sure, he sure is. Well, Nick, uh, we talked about it. Uh, the Western Wayne Wildcats with 14 seconds remaining in that first half. They had a lot of time on the clock, and they made good use of it as they punch in a touchdown just before halftime to take a 21-7 lead into the locker room. Yeah, good heads-up football by Western Wayne there. They didn't panic when Holmesdale had a, you know, started creeping back into the game there. Played, uh, you know, play what they do. It's, that's what Holmesdale's mantra, or sorry, Western Wayne's mantra has been all, all year is uh, don't panic and, you know, let our guys do what they do. We will go to a break, and when we return, we will join Nick Homick and talk about some upcoming games in the first half after this timeout on Adams Cable High School Football. The White's Crossing Sports Shop, Canaan Street in Carbondale, is the leading authority for the outdoors in northeastern Pennsylvania. They carry a full line of archery accessories, hunting and reloading supplies, live bait, and a variety of fishing tackle. Call 282-4699 or log on to their website at whitescrossing.com. Finding that unique seasonal outdoor item has never been easier with help from Tom and the staff at the White's Crossing Sports Shop. Tonkin Auto Supply, your Napa dealer in Carbondale, has been serving the area for over 36 years with the largest inventory of automotive replacement parts and accessories. Experience Napa know-how with knowledgeable customer service from Glenn Garth and the staff at Tonkin Auto Supply in Carbondale, your Napa know-how folks. When your car does this... Call us first. Every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. That's the motto at Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale. In an accident, remember, it is your car and your choice to choose your repair center. Call Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale, well known for integrity, safety, and craftsmanship. Good luck to all area teams from Tony, Mike, Jeff, and the staff at Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center, Carbondale. Too hot? Just call Spall. Too cold? Just call Spall. T.E. Spall & Son, where you'll always get our upfront pricing. Plus, now through Wednesday, own a new energy-saving AC system for just $2.84 a day with our exclusive guarantee. Plus, get 0% financing. We called Spall and not only do we save a lot of money, but they're a name that you can trust. They get the job done fast and they get it done right. Just call Spall or see us now at callspall.com. If you've been dreaming about modernizing your living space, Tom's Floor Shop and Childs is ready to make those dreams a reality. Tom's Floor Shop offers a wide variety of name brand carpeting, hardwood, laminate, vinyl, ceramic tile, and professional installation. Style your home in contemporary elegance and classic beauty with a personalized touch by Tom's Floor Shop. All roads lead to where great floors begin at Tom's Floor Shop Exit 6 off the Casey Highway in Childs. Excavation projects require experience, planning, and heavy-duty equipment. Nick's Excavating and Paving in Carbondale considers every project to be unique, which requires an individual approach to meet a wide variety of needs in residential and commercial excavating. Nick's Excavating and Paving specialize in land clearing, demolition, foundations, driveways, new paving and seal coating, mulch, or stone. Clearing the way for your next project. Nick's Excavating and Paving, Carbondale. There's some cool new stuff out there. Cars that drive themselves. Phones that talk to us. There's a cafe behind you. And now TV everywhere. That's right, Lucky Adams Cable Service customer. Now you can watch channels from your TV package just about anywhere on just about any device. Catch your favorites in the waiting room, coffee shop, break room, the airport, wherever. TV everywhere. It's a cool extra service for no extra cost. Visit AdamsCable.com and sign up today. The Gabriel family and the staff at Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated of Carbondale send best wishes to our local athletes and teams for a successful season. In your time of need, call 282-1219 for the ultimate in professional service. From Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street, Carbondale. 
And Jake Shepard will get set to kick it off for Western Wayne and the return team setting up for the Honesdale Hornets. Ethan Dunn along with Nick Vlasich. So here we go with third quarter action from the Sharky Rossetti Sports Complex in Varden. Shepard's kick bouncing around, caught at the 29-yard line by an up back and no return for the Honesdale Hornets. And that's where they will start this drive. First down and 10. They'll place the football. The officials will spot it at the 35-yard line. 21 to 7, your score here in the third. Great to have you with us on this autumn evening. High school football week number six. Well, we'll see what kind of adjustments were made by both ball clubs in the locker room at halftime. And Ethan Dunn will run the Honesdale offense. Man will come in motion to the near side. They will try to go with the running attack, and the Wildcats nail him. Fumble. Loose football, and I believe the Wildcats might have it. They're gonna, the umpire's coming in. He's going to call him down. Play was down. Play was dead, so... Boy, that ball squirted out quickly. It certainly did. Second down after a very short game. That's been a problem for Honesdale, holding on to the football here tonight. So the Hornets will talk things over in the huddle. On second down and 10. Luke Bancroft is a wide out on the top of your screen. Eye formation in the backfield. Dunn will drop back. Protection breaks down. Dunn is in trouble. Football is on the turf. And yeah, the pass is incomplete. Boy, the heat was on that time. I don't know how he was even able to throw that ball. Now the pass protection broke down that time. And... The Hornets dodge a bullet. They dodge actually two bullets right here on this possession. And they will look down the barrel of third down and 10. And here come the Hornets to the line of scrimmage. And it will be junior quarterback Ethan Dunn putting a man in motion. And this play will be nullified by a flag. Yeah, just a... They're getting off to a very rough start here in the third quarter. Not what you wanted to start this half. And the official will step off the penalty. Five yarder. And it's going to be third down and 15 yards to go for the Honesdale Hornets. So getting off to a shaky third quarter start. Homecoming 2017 here in Varden, and a big crowd on hand for tonight's game. Nick, they're going to sell a lot of cheeseburgers. Yeah, I hope, I hope they do. <laughs> Ask Anthony and they'd get down there. <laughs> this is Freer Muth with the football advancing into the 35-yard line. A lot of cheeseburgers. They have quite the menu down there. Cabbage and noodles, I would have probably tried if... We didn't have to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they had the grill going here tonight. Uh, firing up uh, hot dogs, hamburgers, uh, everything. Hot wing Gr bites. Yeah, uh, great pizza, of course. Yeah. Soft, uh, big giant soft pretzels. Nachos Anthony got. Fourth down punting situation for Honesdale. As Ethan Dunn gets one away with a lot of hang time. Fair catch called for at the... 35-yard line. And that's where the Wildcats will take over possession of football. First down and 10 with a 21-7 lead. So for Honesdale, it was three and out. Couldn't generate any kind of offense. And uh, right here, they're going to have to play some defense against this uh, Wildcat football team that really caught fire late in the first half. Punched in a late score with about four seconds left. They'll set up their offense right now at the 35 yard line first down. And this will be Valenda in traffic and he takes the sack. That was just a busted play. Nowhere to go as he dropped back, kind of rolling out to the near side and uh, the protection broke down on the offensive line and Honesdale was all over. Loss of five, about five yards on the play. 
No, but like that game, uh, the extended halftime last uh, tonight, kind of like that game last night that got delayed by the lightning. Yeah, that's uh, kind of get out of sync a little bit. Two weeks in a row, we had a uh, situation like that. Yeah. And the Wildcats off the play fake for Linda. Pass is complete to Burkhart in front of the Wildcat bench at the 39-yard line. Short gain on the play. So for the uh, Western Wayne Wildcats right here, it's going to be a third down situation. Third and about seven. 9.33 to play, third quarter. Wildcats in control right now, 21 to seven. And the sophomore quarterback will set the line of scrimmage with Burkhart dotting the I formation off the play fake. Berlanda throws on the run, and the pass was almost picked off. Well, the uh, Honesdale Hornets had a chance to pick it off. That was Ludwig, I believe, having a chance at it. And uh, tell you, good stand by Honesdale. Mm -hmm. Much needed. Parker, I think that was Parker, maybe. The sophomore cornerback had a shot at that pass, and uh, boy, that would have been a big opportunity. But the punting unit will come on now for the Western Wayne Wildcats on fourth down and seven yards to go. Bailey Walk will do the honors for the Western Wayne Wildcats. Long snap count. This is a punt with a lot of hang time, but relatively short. It, it hit a player. Did it hit a Honesdale player? And there's a mad dash for the football near the 46 of Honesdale. Well, that was uh, the Wildcats have it. Is that the punter that came up with it? <laughs> That's hostile. Hell, that, you talk about a it's kick like, with hang time. It's like it, following it, your shot in basketball. Which nobody does anymore. Yeah. <laughs> if Glenn was here, we'd appreciate that. Yeah, he would be talking about that for about 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. So a big break for the Western Wayne Wildcats as they will go back to work offensively in Honesdale territory at the 44. Now the Wildcats will try to get organized. Dylan Walk will be a wide out on the near side. As Matt Valenda will hand it off. And there they go with the running game. And they will go inside the 30-yard line. And there goes Danny Boots for a 46-yard touchdown. That's a heck of a run. How about that? Well, they take advantage of a big opportunity. Wow. It's a huge opportunity there. Unfortunately, Holmesdale shot themselves in the foot there on the, on the punt. So Boots comes up with the touchdown, and now it will be Jake Shepard to tack on the extra point. Wow, that's a good one. Oh, the luxury of having a kicker. No doubt about it. 9.05 remaining in the third. 28-7 Wildcats on Adams Cable High School football. The White's Crossing Sports Shop, Canaan Street in Carbondale, is the leading authority for the outdoors in northeastern Pennsylvania. They carry a full line of archery accessories, hunting and reloading supplies, live bait, and a variety of fishing tackle. Call 282-4699 or log on to their website at whitescrossing.com. Finding that unique seasonal outdoor item has never been easier with help from Tom and the staff at the White's Crossing Sports Shop. When your car does this. Call us first. Every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. That's the motto at Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale. In an accident, remember, it is your car and your choice to choose your repair center. Call Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale, well known for integrity, safety, and craftsmanship. 
Good luck to all area teams. From Tony, Mike, Jeff, and the staff at Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center, Carbondale. Welcome back to the Sharky Rossetti Sports Complex in Barden, where the Wildcats increase their lead to 28-7 over the Honesdale Hornets. Wildcats now tee it up. They will kick off to Honesdale. Line drive kick bouncing around, picked up at about the 18-yard line. And for the Honesdale Hornets on the return, they lose the football near the 35, but I, I think they will keep possession, Nick. They, got, they have to protect the ball. That has been their problem thus far throughout the ball wow, game. That, that's that's going to drive a coach nuts. And a holding call now will push oh, Honesdale boy. back after they had relatively good field position. This is going to come back. So that really hurts them as they trail 28 to 7. Yeah, they're becoming a bit unglued right now. They just have to have something to go right their way to get back, in the, back on track here. And right now, from the 16-yard line, first down for the Honesdale Hornet offense. You got your work cut out for you going against this very good defense. Freermuth will be hemmed in, and the defense nails him as they string him out on the play. So right now for Honesdale, Nick, uh, they're finding it very difficult to get on track here in the uh, second half of this football game. Yeah, they're going a little hurry up offense here to try and change something. Dunn will, Dunn in some traffic, back to throw. He leads a tackler, steps up field, fires, and the pass is you know, Freer Muth was the intended receiver right in front of the first down marker, and I believe he has it. That was uh, just a good play as he was scrambling to avoid a lot of traffic. And they will pick up the first down. Oh, shaking off the western lane here. Surprised he caught that. Yeah, they, a lot of traffic in front of that uh, Honesdale bench. Good credit, defense by Honesdale. but credit uh, done getting out of that. Yeah, he, uh, he was like a magician back there. Kind of disappeared a couple of times, eluded a few would-be tacklers. New set of downs for the Hornet offense, and this time they'll keep it on the ground. And the and uh, for the Honesdale Hornets, uh, they finding this uh, the running game going up the middle very, very difficult against this Wildcat defense. Yeah, very stout ones of the ball. Well, you don't pitch shutouts for just by luck. <laughs> No, very good Western Wayne defense here in Varden. Second down and seven as the Hornets talk it over. And Jacob Hodder will bring the Hornets to the line of scrimmage. 7.35 to play, third quarter. And the handoff will go. Oh, no, it's going to be done keeping the football, and he is in trouble and takes the sack inside the 20-yard line. Well, just a lot of heat put on Ethan Dunn as he faked the handoff coming to the near side, rolled out, and then had to take the sack as the protection broke down. So right now, it's going to be third down and long for the Honesdale Hornets. As they will talk it over. So Nick, right here on the third down play, you need to make something happen. You cannot give the Wildcats, the football back with a short field. No, you uh, you hit the nail right on the head, Steve. Uh, you got to try and at least get, you know, pick up the first down, obviously, but just get some field position change. And Don out of the gun will come near side, and Cameron Baker advances the football to the 29-yard line after the catch. Not going to be enough, but you picked up some valuable yardage here. you got to get this punt off and, and cover. Yeah, you need a punt... Uh, Good punt with no return to uh, back Western Wayne up and try to break some momentum right here as they have been uh, red hot ever since they scored that touchdown just before the first half. 
28-7 your score as we near the six-minute mark time remaining third quarter here in Varden. Thanks for joining us for Adams Cable High School football. Punting team comes on for the Hornets. Ethan Dunn and two return men for the Western Wayne Wildcats. And for Western Wayne, Zane Janiszewski on the return out to midfield and a flag on the play. Zane Janiszewski, a 5'9", 160-pound freshman. And we'll check this out. Got a chance to say his name there, Steve. Yes. We made sure we had that covered. There's your call against the Cats. As the officials will talk things over at midfield. So the Wildcats out to a 28-7 lead. And uh, Nick, they are for real this year. And uh, you have to have to be impressed with uh, their composure, the way they play the game. Boy, in all aspects, offensively, defensively, they're really putting it together. Yeah, Great team to watch. Penalized right here as the... The officials will place the football at the 39-yard line. And bring up first down and 10. Here they come to the line of scrimmage as the sophomore quarterback, Valenda, will run the offense. Burkhart will dot the I formation. Mason kind of lines up at tight end, and they will hand it off to... The tailback, and there's not too much running room there. Twenty-four count to make the stop there for Holmesdale. Now that's Nick Vlasic. Uh, he's a sophomore making the tackle. I think the grill's on fire, Nick. See a lot of smoke out there. Yeah, they got the smoker going. <laughs> Second down of 14 with 5.09 remaining here in the third. As there will be an eye formation in the backfield. And uh, there's a flag. A little too anxious. Yeah, I thought we were rolling here, Nick. I was going to mention that uh, I thought we were rolling along here with the. Uh, I'm starting to learn to keep my mouth shut. <laughs> Penalty will be called against the Wildcats, five-yarder, as uh, Kobe Salter will get set to check into the lineup. And the Wildcats now will face second down and about 19 yards to go from their own 30-yard line. And I formation in the backfield. Valenda to throw passes blocked. What a great Good block by, by Baker. Baker. Yep. Yeah, he got the hands up and batted it away. Good pursuit that time by the outside linebacker. That's just a good heads up play on defensive. He read that scream was coming. Yeah, if you were a uh, it, Nick, if you were playing, what would you rather be playing, offense or defense? Just be happy to be out there right now. <laughs> but I, I some guys defense. just are defensive guys. You know, they love that. You know, to be on the defense and put the pressure on. Third down, 19 for the Wildcats, and there's a pass play. It is complete. Picture perfect pass to Derek Mason, still on his feet inside the 35 of Honesdale. You look like the other Derek Mason out there. Real receiver from the Titans. Yeah, well, this one is a sophomore. Good target, 6'2", 195 pounds, and Western Wayne will sustain the drive with a very important first down with 418 to play here in the third, and they lead the Honesdale Hornets 28-7. Big play. So the Western Wayne Wildcats have something going. They got out to a 14 to nothing first quarter lead and both teams played on even terms, scoring seven points apiece. Wildcats led 21 to seven at halftime. 
Right now here in the third quarter, 28 to seven as Volanda drops back, fires the pass, complete at the 25 yard line. And that is Burkhardt on the reception for the Western Wayne Wildcats. There it is. <laughs> it's about that time. Yeah, then he couldn't wait. <laughs> couldn't wait to a commercial break. Just dry it on there. <laughs> <laughs> Nick looks forward to that each week. <laughs> and it will be Matt Valanda to set them down. Full house backfield. And the handoff looked like Burkhart getting the call. And... Uh, after a short gain, plowed inside the 25-yard line. But they certainly spread the ball around those Western Wayne. Now, when you have that many weapons, uh, well, you could always go to a fresh set of legs. Right now for the Western Wayne Wildcats, Salter will check out. And Zane Janiszewski will check into the Wildcat lineup. So on the first down play from the 23-yard line with under three minutes to play, third quarter, the Wildcats will go to work offensively. And Valenda late handoff, and they give it to Janiszewski around the left end, heading for that first down marker. And I believe he's got the first down. So the Wild Wildcats right here, Nick, Putting it all together. Now, do we have a penalty on the play as the officials will talk this over? Yeah, they're backing up, it looks like. Yeah, this is going to come yep. back. There's a flag on the play. That's a tough one. Holding call against Western Wayne will move them back. There's a haze over the stadium right now. Yeah. Looks like the fog's rolling in. Now well, that's definitely the grill, Nick. It smells like it. First down and about 20 yards to go for the Wildcats. Looks like the fireworks displayed in an NFL game. After. <laughs> Melinda Tripp dropping back. He's going to air it out, and he has oh. Dylan Walk for a touchdown. Beautiful catch. 23-yard touchdown pass to Dylan Walk, and the Wildcats now lead it 34-7. to Beautiful over-the-shoulder grab. Wow. That was a picture-perfect play, but it looked as though Valanda dropping back lost his footing momentarily on the turf, but regained his composure for the touchdown. And now it will be Shepard to try for the point after touchdown, and here it comes. And the Wildcats now lead the Honesdale Hornets 35-7 on Adams Cable High School Football. Too hot? Just call Spall. Too cold? Just call Spall. T.E. Spall & Son, where you'll always get our upfront pricing. Plus, now through Wednesday, own a new energy-saving AC system for just $2.84 a day with our exclusive guarantee. Plus, get 0% financing. We called Spall and not only did we save a lot of money, but they're a name that you can trust. They get the job done fast and they get it done right. Just call Spall or see us now at callspall.com. The Waymore Deli is a proud supporter of the Western Wayne Wildcats. Go to their website at waymartdeli.com or call 488-5970 and place your order from the many taste-tempting selections on their menu, featuring delicious sandwiches, homemade soup, deli salads, and, of course, the famous Waymore Deli hot and cold subs. From your friends at the Waymore Deli, good luck, Western Wayne Wildcats. Well, it's been all Western Wayne in this football game as they now lead 35 to seven with 219 to play here in the third quarter. Yeah, Nick, they could uh, strike very quickly and now they will kick it off to the Honesdale Hornets. Football bouncing around and it will be picked up near the 15 yard line and uh, no return on this one as the 
Wildcats are all over it at about the 17, and that's where the Hornets will try to get something going. They have really struggled in this second half yeah, offensively. They, yeah, absolutely. They just kind of came unglued here and, and really haven't found an answer yet. Now we'll check uh, soon to try to bring you updates on high school football games around the area. Now the Honesdale Hornets will go to work. Operating from its own 18-yard line. And Dunn wants to throw, and this pass is picked off at the 32-yard line. Wildcats pick it off. I believe it is Salter on the interception, and it's going to be a pick six for Kobe Salter. And it's 41-7, Western Wayne. Wow, how about that? Wow, well, like, like I said, you know, things are really going your way. They really do go your way. It snowballs in a hurry. You know, Holmesdale's forte is not is obviously not to throw the ball. Now, Robbie, oh. it's going to be. A busted play as Jake Shepard was attempting the extra point. And uh, with 158 remaining here in the third quarter, 41 to 7, your score. Wildcats will go to a break and be right back on Adams Cable High School Football. The Gabriel family and the staff at Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated of Carbondale send best wishes to our local athletes and teams for a successful season. In your time of need, call 282-1219 for the ultimate in professional service from Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated, 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street, Carbondale. What does it mean to be an expert? Does it mean getting the job done right? Or being able to pinpoint a problem and quickly find a solution? Whatever the meaning, the team at NJS are your experts in hydraulic and pneumatic components. So whether you need a custom hose built on the spot or a cylinder repaired from the ground up, the experts at NJS are there when you need them. And with the area's largest hose and fittings warehouse, NJS has thousands of the parts you need in stock and ready to go. NJS Route 6 Mayfield, online at NJSCO.com. NJS is proud to call this area home and proud to sponsor our area athletes on Adams Cable Channel 7. Honesdale Hornets uh, on the return. Freer Muth will take it up across the 32, the 32-yard line. And that's where they will go to work as they trail now 41-7 to as uh, the Honesdale Hornets uh, just came out of the locker room in the third quarter, they were flat, trying to get their offense going. And uh, Western Wayne came out like gangbusters, tacking on some touchdowns. And 41-7 uh, to seven with a buck 50 on the clock, time remaining here in the third. It was, uh, last update we had, Old Forge and Riverside, they're tied at 12 in with 8.31 to play in the third quarter, Nick. Great football game going on down there as uh, Freer Muth will take the football around the right side. He's got the first down and then spins across the 45 for a big play to get the Honesdale Hornets in pretty good field position across midfield. Hey there, Steve. Okay. There yeah, there we go. <laughs> You're That's surprising, the 12. 12-12. 12 down there. Honesdale now from the Wildcat 45. Baker will go ahead, full speed ahead, right up the middle to the 40. So a 34-point lead for the Western Wayne Wildcats here in the third quarter. As Holmesdale will talk it over in the huddle and approach the line of scrimmage. And Ethan Dunn will send a man in motion. He'll hand it off to Freer Muth, and he will try to go around the right side. 
Goes across the 40, and a second effort will advance the football to about the 36-yard line of the Western Wayne Wildcats. He'll be short of the first down. Trying to keep, uh, get some updates. Trying to keep a watch on that uh, Carbondale game. We're waiting for an update on that one. A refresh, check things out here. Yeah, last update we had was in the second quarter. It was 20 to 14, Nick, so. Third down and two for Honesdale. And there is the handoff to Cameron Baker right up the middle, and he plows to the 25-yard line of the Western Wayne Wildcats. This is my second play. This is Honesdale's MO all night, though. I mean, they moved the ball. It's just... Well, they turned Silly it over mistakes. in key situations. Yeah, mistakes, penalties. Yeah, that really hurt them. Final nine seconds of quarter number three here in Varden. As Dunn will hand it off, and the running play will go nowhere, as that will bring an end to quarter number three at the Sharky Rossetti Sports Complex in Varden with Western Wayne leading Honesdale 41-7 on Adams Cable High School Football. Tonkin Auto Supply, your Napa dealer in Carbondale, has been serving the area for over 36 years with the largest inventory of automotive replacement parts and accessories. Experience Napa know-how with knowledgeable customer service from Glenn Garth and the staff at Tonkin Auto Supply in Carbondale. Your Napa know-how folks. If you've been dreaming about modernizing your living space, Tom's Floor Shop and Childs is ready to make those dreams a reality. Tom's Floor Shop offers a wide variety of name brand carpeting, hardwood, laminate, vinyl, ceramic tile, and professional installation. Style your home in contemporary elegance and classic beauty with a personalized touch by Tom's Floor Shop. All roads lead to where great floors begin at Tom's Floor Shop Exit 6 off the Casey Highway in Childs. To lead it 41 to 7 as we start the fourth quarter of play and the Hornets with the football. Handoff will come to the near side and that is Freermuth Free with it and he will drive inside the 10 finally tackled near the 8 yard line. We have an update in the Carbondale Lackawanna Trail game with about two minutes to go in the third quarter. Lackawanna Trail leads Carbondale 28 to 14. Hmm. Well, Lackawanna Trail is a good, pretty good football team. They are. And new set of downs for the Honesdale Hornets as they will give it to Freermuth and he will score on an eight yard touchdown. Bo Freermuth scores for Honesdale from eight yards out, and they now trail the Wildcats 41 13. So Honesdale come, comes right back, and they answer with a touchdown, and they now trail 41 13. And Robbie Campen is on for the point after out of the hold of Ethan Dunn. And line drive kick is perfect. 41-14 as we go to a break on Adams Cable High School Football. Excavation projects require experience, planning, and heavy-duty equipment. Nick's Excavating and Paving in Carbondale considers every project to be unique, which requires an individual approach to meet a wide variety of needs in residential and commercial excavating. Nick's Excavating and Paving specialize in land clearing, demolition, foundations, driveways, new paving and seal coating, mulch, or stone. Clearing the way for your next project. Nick's Excavating and Paving, Carbondale. 
The White's Crossing Sports Shop, Canaan Street in Carbondale, is the leading authority for the outdoors in northeastern Pennsylvania. They carry a full line of archery accessories, hunting and reloading supplies, live bait, and a variety of fishing tackle. Call 282-4699 or log on to their website at whitescrossing.com. Finding that unique seasonal outdoor item has never been easier with help from Tom and the staff at the White's Crossing Sports Shop. Well, keep in mind, folks, uh, archery season begins tomorrow, Saturday, and it will be underway. Get all of your archery accessories you need and any advice at the White's Crossing Sports Shop. Good return, Sauter out across the 30-yard line for the Western Wayne Wildcats, and uh, they will be set to work their offense from that point, first down and 10, leading 41-14 to with 11.29 to play fourth quarter. So, Nick, this is a, a sign of a good football team is when you take advantage of the opportunities given. Oh, most definitely. And Western Wayne certainly has done that tonight. And every time they had an opportunity after a turnover, they punched it in. And this uh, offense is only going to get better. They are running on all cylinders right here in this football game against the Honesdale Hornets. From the 33-yard line, first down and 10, as they will go to work with the lead. And you won't see anything too fancy right here. You're going to see a lot of the running game. Colby Sauter carries the football out to the 38-yard line for the Western Wayne Wildcats. Yeah, the game's well in hand. Uh, you know, there's no need. you got a couple of big games coming up here. You just want to shorten this game, get out of here, injury-free, hopefully. You know, you got a little weather coming. It's probably raining in Carbonell right now. Probably won't. Yeah, if, if the could weather, be. If the radar is correct. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say within the next five minutes, we're going to see some sprinkles. Let's see how good you are as a forecaster. i got to be better than the guys that's doing it now. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> Sauter takes the handoff. He has the first down and more across midfield. And Kobe Sauter possesses uh, great speed for the Western Wayne Wildcats and another weapon coming out of the backfield. He really never, he really never got going tonight. Uh, if there's one phase of their offense, he, he was the one who really never got off the ground early on. Yeah, another ball carrier is always to have some big gains, but uh, you know, Colby had a little tough sledding early on. But he's the workhorse, so he'll get his opportunities. No, without a doubt. So the Western Wayne Wildcats will remain undefeated here tonight as they will uh, next week take on North Pocono. And once again, the ground game. And Sauter stretches for a, an additional yard near the 46 as he goes off the right tackle. So right here, it's going to be ball control for the Honesdale Hornets keep the football, pick up some first downs, shorten the game, and get this in the record book as a win. For the Honesdale Hornets, uh, they're going to take a look at uh, when they break down the film, they're going to take a look and uh, see that they really gave numerous opportunities to Western Wayne here tonight, turning over the football in key situations, which uh, 20, really hurt them. 21 points off turnovers. That's, you know. That's Otherwise tough. It's a different tough game. way to win a football game. Otherwise, it's 20 to 14, possibly. Second down and five from the 46 for the Wildcats as Janiszewski goes across the line of scrimmage for a short game. Well, how about it? Week number six already, high school football. And uh, as we keep moving along throughout the season, the picture is going to become much clearer and. Uh, Lackawanna Football Conference Division Two, II, Division Three. Of course, uh, Dunmore. Until somebody knocks off Dunmore, Nick, uh, they're just uh, they're up on the pedestal. Yes, they are. They are that elite program, and uh, nobody has been able to uh, knock them off of that pedestal. Yeah, they're rolling against Montrose, 41 to nothing, fourth quarter score. As expected. As they hand it off, and this will be Zane Janiszewski once again, strung out on the play, 
And he stays in bounds. Did a good job to keep that clock running with under nine minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, Lackawanna Football Conference uh, Division Two. You take a look at all of the teams that are uh, lined up there. It's going to be interesting for the Western Wayne Wildcats going into the toughest part of their schedule with this momentum. That is going to be a, a great way to take on uh, North Pocono, Prep, Valley View, West Scranton. Yeah, I, That's what you want. You want to be playing your best football at this time of the well, year. You want to be battle-tested if you're going in the playoffs. And, That's for sure. You know, certain teams are going to be battle-tested. Dylan Walk is a wide out on the top of your screen on fourth down and six as Belanda went off the play fake and this play will be stopped by virtue of a penalty. Now with eight minutes left, a lot of the fans here on the near side are uh, heading for the gates, heading for the parking lot, Nick. You want to beat the traffic. Yeah, beat the traffic, beat the rain. Hey, has it been five minutes yet, Anthony? It's close. Nick said it was going to be raining in five minutes. Well, it got a lot cooler out here, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Fourth down and 11. Well, Nick, for your sake, I hope it doesn't rain in the next uh, five to eight minutes. I'm prepared. Punting situation for Western Wayne. And a good one. As this will roll, it takes a Western Wayne roll inside the 15-yard line of Honesdale with 7.22 to play here in the fourth quarter. Honesdale Hornets will go to work from that point with the football. If it starts to rain, we're going to have a quick post-game show. <laughs> oh, believe me, it will be quick. Last update we had in the Lakeland game, they were leading, uh, the Chiefs were leading Susquehanna 21 to 6. That was in the third quarter. Fourth hey. quarter score, North Pocono over West 20 to 14. First down and 10, the Hornets will go to work from their own 14 yard line. And Dunn will hand it off as they go around left end for a short gain on the play. Uh-oh, did I just uh, knock us off there? Trying to get some updated scores, and uh, producer Anthony Cook will get things back on track for us here in the booth. There we go. <laughs> Hornets face second down and four from their own 20-yard line. Play will come to the near side. This will be Freermuth with the football, and uh, he just gets back to the line of scrimmage where Western Wayne holds a team meeting on him. Boy, a lot of uh, black and gold on the defensive pursuit for the Wildcats. Oh, I felt the raindrop. Uh, Nick, you are a good couple. forecaster. I look up in the lights, and I can see it coming down. It You're is. good, Nick. Here we go. I say I never told you so. Might need to get you on local television, Nick. You're that uh, good. No, no, no. <laughs> that's a good call. Accurate radar, that's what it was. <laughs> Third down and four now for the Hornets. Trailing 41 to 14. And the uh, play done, done, done in on a keeper scrambles along the far side. He's got the first down across the 30 and up across the 35 yard line. Certainly got some wheels on him. That was a good fake. Play looked like it was coming to the near side and Dunn looked like he was caught behind the line of scrimmage. Did a good job to scramble along the far side and picks up a very important first down to sustain the drive for the Hornet offense. Football resting on the 36-yard line as the Hornets will approach the line of scrimmage. Luke Bancroft is a wide out on the near side. 
And Ethan Dunn will send a man in motion. They'll hand it off to the tailback, and that is Freer Muth. Then play goes nowhere as he is shut down near the 36-yard line. Good defense by the Wildcats. So next week for the Western Wayne Wildcats, they will take on North Pocono, while the Honesdale Hornets will take on the Cavaliers of Scranton Prep. It doesn't get any easier, does it? No, week in and week out, the games are going to get much more difficult. Honesdale facing second down and 10 from its own 36-yard line. Ethan Dunn back to throw, rushes on, pass goes out to Freer Mute, then he is caught at the 40, keeps his feet driving, and advances the football to the 41 yard line. Great second effort by Bo Freer Mute, the senior tailback. That second effort will always uh, get you some more additional yards. That's the sign of a good football player. 41 14, your score. Western Wayne leading it with four minutes and 42 seconds to play here in the fourth. So homecoming here, 2017, big crowd on hand and the fans enjoying the football game here in Varden. And another big win for the Western Wayne Wildcats on the way as Ethan Dunn will run the offense, toss play, free or mute with a hole close to the first down near the Honesdale 47 yard line. And the chain gang will move the markers and Western Wayne will continue to try to shut down Honesdale as the Hornets will keep the drive going with the first down. So Nick, it was really uh, great to come here to uh, the Western Wayne complex here, the Sharky Rossetti Sports Complex. Thank you to Athletic Director Cindy Rizzi for uh, all of her help getting us set up here in the booth. And of course to uh, Brian Seaman, Director of Technology here at Western Wayne. Brian, thank you so much for getting us all uh, hooked up with our live audio broadcast. We're always treated well. We look forward to coming here to this uh, beautiful sports complex. And uh, we can't thank the administration of Western Wayne and everyone here for all of their help getting the broadcast going here tonight. Nearing four minutes to play in the fourth, 41-14. As Honesdale will keep things going with the first down at the 43-yard uh, line. And Dunn will set them down. Freer Muth will go straight up the gut of the Wildcat defense to the 35-yard line. The Waymart Deli is a proud supporter of the Western Wayne Wildcats. Go to their website at waymartdeli.com or call 488-5970 and place your order from the many taste-tempting selections on their menu, featuring delicious sandwiches, homemade soup, deli salads, and, of course, the famous Waymart Deli hot and cold subs. From your friends at the Waymart Deli, good luck, Western Wayne Wildcats. Fumble. Loose football. And the Wildcats have recovered. Well, another Honesdale turnover. And that has really hurt them in this football game. And Western Wayne will take over possession of the football, leading 41 to 14 with 3-11 remaining fourth quarter. So, Nick, sometimes uh, when you're a football team, things just don't go your way. Honesdale, in that uh, first, first quarter, first half, they were hanging around. They were still in it. But I think that uh, touchdown just before halftime really gave a lot of momentum to the Western Wayne Wildcats. Yeah, definitely. So, you know, back to the drawing board for Honesdale. You, you're going to take your lumps. You knew that, but... I, you know, really nothing to really hang your head about other than, you know, the loss, of course, is tough to swallow, but you well, did you some took good on. things. It's just you got to clean up the mistakes. And you learn. You learn from uh, all of the uh, turnovers that you had in this football game, and uh, you work from that point. You take it uh, one step at a time, and 
build off of it. Yeah, you take your lumps. You know, you, like you said, you learn from it. You learn to protect the football. I mean, that's fundamental 101 there. You, know, you can't turn it over. You can't just have silly mistakes that like penalties and things that are going to cost your team, especially 15 yard ones. Those are the, those are a dagger. And the Wildcats have capitalized on those turnovers here in this football game. And they are on their way to win number six in 2017 as they will approach the line of scrimmage with 3-11 remaining. They'll keep it on the ground. They'll go with the running attack out across the 30-yard line. You know, win number six is going to pretty much get them really close to the playoff berth. Yeah, if you could uh, get a win or two in between that schedule and a, a very difficult schedule, you pick up a couple of wins, and, uh, of course, you never know what might happen on any given night. You know, you uh, Western Wayne, one of the hottest teams around right now, playing good football, fundamentally sound, and uh, they take advantage of opportunities on second down and seven. A new quarterback in the uh, lineup for Western Wayne and Derek Mason comes up with a big catch. So we have a Southpaw quarterback running the offense right now for the Western Wayne Wildcats. Well, the fans really into it here tonight. First down for the Western Wayne Wildcats second unit in there. And they will keep it on the ground and uh, Honesdale Hornets all over it. Dylan Canfield, the inside linebacker, comes up to make the tackle for Honesdale. Well, pretty much, if I'm Western Wayne, I stay in this huddle for as long as I possibly can. Three yeah, kneel downs, and I think you're out of here. Yeah, you take a look at the play clock and let that play clock run right down. And with under two minutes remaining, that's all you have to do. On I don't know what they're burning over at the concession stand, but it's not a good thing. Are you guys smelling that in there? Not at, no, not here, not wow. in the booth. It's strong. It's not food, it's an electrical flare. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully everything is going okay over there with the, with the grill. Buck 25 on the clock, time remaining here in the fourth quarter. Second down play, second and 16. So Western Wayne will go with Zane Janiszewski carrying the football out to the 45-yard line. And as we near one minute remaining, fans will give the Western Wayne Wildcats a big round of applause here. Well, Don McDonough down on the near sideline, uh, Nick, he was calling the plays offensively for the Western Wayne Wildcats. His uh, dad, Don McDonough Sr., has been on the school board for 20 years here at Western Wayne. Spent six at Carbondale area, so how ironic is that with all of the experience on the football field that uh, his dad has been on the school board this many years. It's uh, just one of those amazing stories. They've done a good job over the years uh, getting this complex headed in the right direction, and now the football team is going that way. So uh, congratulations to Randy Wolf, the coaching staff, and the Western Wayne Wildcats as the final 12 seconds will tick away here at the Sharky Rossetti Sports Complex, and the Wildcats will remain undefeated with a 41-14 win over the Honesdale Hornets. Yeah, very impressive win. Uh, I'm just very impressed with the whole Western Wayne uh, team. Start, start to finish from, you know, coaches on down to the whole fan base. I mean, obviously enjoying this 6-0 start here. And, and much luck to them. I really hope that they keep this going. Yeah, it's great to see. I mean, uh, they played just a perfect ball game here tonight. 
Yeah, absolutely. Uh, offensively, defensively, took advantage of all of the opportunities given to them here, and uh, they will take on the uh, North Pocono Trojans next week, so good luck to them. The remaining games on their schedule, Nick, North Pocono, Scranton Prep, Valley View, and West Scranton, so we hope they are... Uh, can pull out some more victories, remain undefeated, and make the playoffs. And, of course, good luck to the Honesdale Hornets. They will have a very difficult schedule as their next opponent will be Scranton Prep, followed by West Scranton, North Pocono, and on the road at Valley View. So good luck to Mike Jerkowski and the Hornets on their remaining games on the schedule. So... That is going to wrap it up here at the Sharky Rossetti Sports Complex in Varden. Thank you for joining us for Adams Cable High School Football. Your final score here tonight, the Wildcats 41 and the Hornets 14. Tonight's presentation of Adams Cable High School Football between the Honesdale Hornets and the Western Wayne Wildcats was brought to you by Adams Cable Service. Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center. By the Comfort Doctors, T.E. Spall & Son. Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Home and Cremation Services Incorporated with locations at 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street. NJS Systems and Controls, Route 6 Mayfield. By your Napa Auto Parts Store, Talking Auto Supply. Tom's Floor Shop, Main Street Childs. Nick's Excavating and Paving by the White's Crossing Sports Shop, the Waymark Deli, and your starting lineups for today's game presented by Roselle Department Store. The action continues Friday, October 6th from Lakeland when the Riverside Vikings take on the Lakeland Chiefs here on Adams Cable High School Football.